So uh, this is the question wherein we have been asked to design a mealy machine for uh, the language that consists of the strings with A and B symbols only, and the string should end with A, A or B, B. So what has been asked to us that uh, my string can either end at A, A or B, B, and uh, I have to just verify this. So what I can do that, if the last output symbol is one, it will end at A, A. And if the last output symbol is BB, input symbol is BB, then it should print the one. I can repeat that if the last in, last output symbols are AA, it should produce one. And if the last output symbols are BB, then it should produce one. It means whatever output I am producing, the last digit of that output should be one. But I can consider that in other cases, I can print zero also. So it means that the set of output alphabets here are zero and one. And what are the input alphabets? They are A and B, which is already given. Now what I can uh, model this question as, I can design a DFA that ends at AA or BB. Let's see if this works. So I can design a DFA which ends at AA or BB. Let's say A is the start state. If I get small a, let's move to B state. And if I get small a again, let's move to the C state. And let's say C is the final state. I can also mark it like this. The C is the final state. Now, if I get a B at C, a B at C, it means the string is not ending with a. a. We'll design decide later. Let's say we are designing it for the B B only, the smallest smallest uh, string. So with B, I'll move to, let's say, the D state. And with another B, let's move to E state. Fine. Let's say E state is the final state. Now, uh, let's say I get a B in state C. So I should move to state number D because we already have got one B. If I get another B, I'll move to E state, which is saying that the string is ending with B. -B. Similarly, if I am at state E and if A comes, so I should move to state number B, which says that after this A, another A can come and I will move to the final state. So the two A's are coming and I'll move to the final state. What if I get A, uh, what if I get B in state B? What if I get B in state B? So if I get B, it means that I got one B. I may get another B at state D and I may reach to state number E. Similarly, if I get A at state number D, it means I've got one A. And if I get another A, I will move to state number C, which is the final state. Okay. So this is the automata that we have designed. This is the DFA. And let's mark the, out, uh, let's mark the output alphabets. Okay. So if I am, if I'm getting A, A, I should definitely produce the output one. If I'm getting a BB, I should definitely produce the answer one. In all other cases, let's produce the output zero and my automata is done. So this is the mealy machine that will work according to what we thought of that it will produce the output one if my, uh, my string is ending with AA or BB. I can take an example also. Let's say the input is A, B, B. Okay. So I will start with A state. With symbol A, you will move to B and will produce the output zero. On B with input symbol B, you will move to state number D and will produce output zero. And then with D, by getting a symbol B, you will move to state number E and will produce the answer wrong. So the last answer is 0, 0, 1. And 1 in the end is denoting that I have actually got uh, a BB or AA as a last symbol symbol string. I can take another example. Let's say I have BBAA. Okay. So let's see the transition of this BBAA. So I will start with A state. And if you get a B, you will move to D state and will produce the answer zero. From D, if you get a B, you will move to E state and will produce the answer one. And then if you get 
A, you will move to state number B and will produce output zero. And at B, if you get a symbol A, you will go to state number C and will produce the answer one. So here the output produces zero one zero one, but I'm not concerned about any other thing. I'm just concerned about the last digit, which is coming out to one. It means that this string is ending with either AA or BB, right? So this is the case, but uh, we can design a simpler one also. So it is not the case that always we design a DFA and it will work. Uh, we can design a simpler one also. For example, let's say the A is the state. And if I get A, I move to state number B. And when I'm going to state number B, I will produce the output zero. But if I get the A again in the B state, I should produce the answer one, meaning that the string is ending at string is ending with a a so if one a comes i will move from a to b but will produce the answer zero but when another a comes i'll move to b state and will produce the output one according to the transition defined on b similarly if let's say if i get a b i should produce the answer zero and move to c state and on c if i get another another b then i should produce the answer one okay so I'll see this transition also. So if I get a B, I'll move to C state, but will produce the answer zero. But if I get another B, it will produce the answer one and will remain at state number C. So if the one is produced as the last symbol, it means that the string is ending with either AA or BB. Now let's say I am at the state number B and a one B symbol comes. So I will move to state number C and will produce the output zero. If another B comes at a state number C, it means that the string is ending with BB and one answer should be produced. And similarly, if I am at the state number C and I get A, so I should produce the output zero because one A has come. And if another A comes in the state number B, this string will be ending with AA and I should produce the answer one. Okay, if I take the example of ABB, so I start at A state. If A came, I move to B state and produce the answer zero. And at B state, if, a, if B comes, I move to state number C and have produced the answer zero. And at C state, if another B came, I remain at C state, but have produced the answer one. So what the answer has been produced here is zero, zero, one, out of which the last symbol is one. It means that my string is either ending with AA or BB. It means that whenever I'm designing the Mealy machine, it is not necessary that the DFA will be the only solution for uh, marking the outputs at the transitions. I can design it, design it in another way also. So I hope uh, this makes sense and uh, you must have understood the Mealy machine. We'll see some more examples in the Mealy machine in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.